This is Mr. Mark, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a website on Wix using one of their templates. Now, the first thing you do is start by creating a new site. However, before I do that, I would like to point out they also do have an hire an expert option where you can actually have someone create the website for you. I would imagine that you have to pay for that option. That's not free, right? But that is another option you have if you're just like, okay, there's no way I'm creating a website on my own. But the purpose of this video is to show you how you can do it on your own without having a lot of technical skills. So you start off by clicking create new site. And then it will ask what kind of website do you want to create? And you should try to find where within where within these categories you lie. And uh, let's say you're creating a website for a business, which I know many people are. You now, have, you now have two options. Let Wix ADI create a website for you or create your website with the Wix editor. You can explore this option if you want. I prefer to have more control, direct control. So I'm going to use this option. Choose a template. And they have lots of templates, as it said in the message. And under business, you have all these other categories of templates. All right, and see the other categories are still here. And if you open these, like online store, you have lots of others under there as well. Now I'm going to go with business and services and maintenance for this example. And now I'm going to pick a services and maintenance template. Let's say, for instance, this one. And what you can do, if you're not sure if you want to use it yet, you can click on view. When you click view, that allows you to actually look at the template, see what it looks like. If you decide it's a go, then you can click edit the site. Notice that the price is free. And by the way, in the description of this video, I have a link that you can click that will take you to a page where you can actually get started with Wix. And all you need to sign up is an email address. It's totally free. You do not have to provide a card or any payment information because it's free, right? Then if you decide you want to upgrade, you can do that. But um, you can create a free website just by signing up. Okay, so here I am, I'm on the template. And the first thing you would do, or I would do if I were using a template, is look at the template and see what's there. Get an overview of the template, an overview of the web page. Okay, and what you want to do is interject your information into this template. So, first of all, is the title, the builder. If you click on that title, you can then click edit text. All right, whoops, we click on that again. Once you click on something, you get options, edit text. So let's, obviously your business is probably not gonna be called the builder, right? But let's say you're doing some kind of home improvement business, all right? Instead of the builder, your business might be called homes. I'll just make something up because I can't think of anything. Homes are us. Okay, let's just say, all right, homes are us. Okay, and if you're a professional home improvement service, then you can keep this. If not, if you need to change this a bit, you could change this text, right? But I'll keep it. You have the option of changing fonts and things like that, but you don't have to. You can leave the color the way it is, right? You don't have to change anything like that. Okay, here we have a menu. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, we have a picture. And pictures, I mean, are pretty much, you know, quite generic, right? Any home improvement will always involve some kind of wood, right? So, I mean, this picture will probably be fine, right? Then we have this message, call now. I'm going to click edit text. And obviously, I'm going to have to change the number to whatever my business number is. It may not be a toll-free number. It might be something different, right? I'm going to put 718, right, which is a popular area code in New York. And I'll just change this phone number to this fake phone number, right? And then you have this button, book online. Now, if, to make use of this, I mean, you'd have to be set up with some kind of automated stuff online where people can book with you online. If you're not set up that way, then you may not have use for this, right? So, I mean, you could leave it um, and try to maybe edit the text out of it, change the text, and just take out the text. And it'll just be a non-functional button, right? Or you could actually delete it completely, right? 
or you could type your email on it. I mean, you have different options, but actually what I'll do is I'll just remove it. All right, right click, delete. And you have call now, and then if you want to add your email to this, you can click here, drag this, pull this down, click edit text to get inside the box, press enter to go to the next line, and here you could put email, E-M-A-I-L, right? And then put your, well, let's say press enter, and then put your email address, right? And let's say homes, or us, at gmail.com. Now sometimes you're gonna run into this situation where you're bigger than the box. So what you do is you highlight the text, and it's very easy, this pops up right away. You have the font size, you can either type a number in here. You can try, for instance, 35, see if that does the trick. Or you can try adjusting this that way. And as you can see, 26 works, All right? Click outside the box, and there you go. So you can have call now, and then email, All right? And if you don't want this to say call now, of course you could change call now to something else. You could just make it you know, phone, email, right, if you wanted to. Okay, now I scroll down. Welcome. I mean, that's pretty universal. I guess you could leave that. I'm a paragraph. You click edit text. You don't want it to say I'm a paragraph, so you would take that out. Welcome, and then you say whatever you have to say, right? Homes are us. Uh, oops. Homes are us is here to provide... It's going to write something really short, the best home improvement services. That's it. Okay, I'll just write that. All right. And of course, you can write more. I'll just close that out. Okay. Then you have these images. Now, if you want to keep the same images, you can. Or you can click. If you want to change an image, you click one of the images, you click change image. And what that allows you to do is upload an image from the computer, right? You could take images from your computer and just drag them into this box. Or you can go here to Media from Wix. And Wix has lots of images. And here you could type in, for instance, construction or, I don't know if construction will do the trick, perhaps home, um, something related to home stuff, home improvement, right? And so you could use one of these images as well, right? Let's say I were to use this. Carpenter assembling newly made windows. Okay, that's a good one. Click that, choose image. And there you go, right? A different image. So you could do the same with these, right? You can change them or you can leave them as, as is. Okay, you might have your own images. And if you do, you put them on your computer and you put them in. The text, the same thing. You can keep the text or you can go to edit text and change the text. So you see how easy this is to do. The design is already here, right? By having a template, the design is here. All you have to do now is add or change what you need to change or remove what you don't need, like I did with the button, right? I just deleted the button and replaced it with email. Okay, um, down here we have paragraphs again, right? So if you want to say something about remodeling, say something about electrical, say something about carpentry, or you might have changed these and you might want to say something about whatever you put here. Or maybe you don't want to say anything. Well, if not, you can right click, delete each box, right click, delete, click each box, right click, delete. Okay, these little pictures are fine, right? These are images as well. If you don't want those, you can delete those as well, but those are fine, right? They just apply to the picture up top, right? So you can leave those alone. Okay, so I scroll down. I'm going to X this out just so I can see if there's anything there. Okay, nothing there. I'm going to scroll down some more. Now I have testimonials. You may have testimonials. You may not. You may want testimonials You might, or, or you might not want testimonials. You could even change this to something else. If you don't want it to be testimonials, you can make it something else. But if you have testimonials, you could get testimonials from people that you know put their testimonials in each box, right? You can even change their name, make their, or just use their first name, right? Or you may not use this at all, which in that case, you could just delete all of it, 
okay, and just leave this empty, okay, so that just, you know, really depends, all right, same thing for this more button, you might not need that more button either, okay, now, other thing I would like to point out is up at the top, you have this menu, home, about, testimonials, and book online, this is very important, these represent other pages on your website, so if you're not going to use all these pages, you don't want that when people come to the website, they're clicking on these pages and then they're, they're just there, right? So what you do is you go up here. It's very easy to do. It says page and you just go to manage pages. Now on manage pages, you can actually hide the pages that you don't want. So for example, let's say I don't want an about page and actually what I'll do before I do that let me take a look at the about page actually yeah right here go to about this is the about page you may want an about page you might not you might not need it if not you go to manage pages look where it says about click these three dots you go to hide and you just hide the about page Okay, same thing for testimonials. You may not want a whole page just on testimonials, right? So you go to testimonials, you hide it. Okay, it's not gone forever, but it's it's not part of your website right now. Okay, then you have book online, right? You may or you may not want it. I don't know. So I'm going to leave it for now, right? But that's something you have to decide on. And don't forget, you can actually change anything you want to here so perhaps you want this page not to say book online really but you might want it as a page that just shows a little more on your services so you may not want the book now buttons and you can always delete them right so I mean it just really depends on what you want to do all right but if you decide you don't want this page at all you could always just hide this page Keep in mind that if you hide this page, you, you will only have one page, which is your own page. And for some people, that one page is enough, right? Depending on your needs and what you're trying to do, your one page website might just be enough in some cases, right? And you always have the option of adding more pages later or actually going back to these pages and using them and unhiden them or rather sorry not unhiden <laughs> or rather you have the option of showing them so you can go back to manage pages and if you decide to use the about page you could go back to settings and you could change it to show and the page will come back later right so even this page book online i'm going to go ahead and hide it okay now that page is hidden all right so i could do that as well Right, and I, now the menu only has home on it now, right? Which might be a little weird. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to go to manage menu, right? And I might decide to hide this as well, right? And actually, I could have done that probably from the other place where I was before, right? So I decide, you know what? I don't even need a menu because I'm only going to work with this one page right now. So now you're just working with one page. Okay, and remember, you can remove whatever you want or hide whatever you want. You can get rid of this button too if you don't want it, right? If you don't want that, delete it. Okay, social bar. We'll take a look at the social bar. This is something too because people might click on this and expect something to happen. All right, um, so I'm going to show you how this works. The social bar, you click set social links, and if you have a Facebook, you just put your Facebook address right here. You click here, and you can put your Facebook address right here, right to your Facebook page. And, and once you do that, it'll work just fine, all right? Twitter, let's say maybe you have a Twitter, maybe you don't. If you don't, you can click this remove, and that will remove it. And in fact, if you wanted to, you could even remove the Facebook and just don't even bother with the social media stuff at all if you don't want to, all right? So that's... Again, it's up to you. It's just a matter of removing what you don't need or don't want to use. Same thing with this Let's Chat. Okay, maybe you want it, maybe you don't. 
right? I'm gonna just leave it alone for now so I can move on. Okay, so once you've done this and have your page set up, you can click preview to see how it, the web page is actually going to look. All right, and as you can see, this is how it's going to look. Okay, with your information added in, and then you can go back to the editor. You can save it, first of all. And when you save it, what it's showing you here is that this is going to be your free domain, the website address. So when you use, when you create a totally free Wix website, Wix gives you a website address. You don't really get to completely pick one. So this website address is based on my the email address that I'm using, which is Mr. Mark Computer Lessons. So it's Mr. Mark Computer Less. They cut off the rest. That's as much as they'll keep. Dot Wixsite dot com slash and then whatever you want to add, right? And this is what homes are us. So I'm going to type homes are us, right? So now that will be my website address. So Wix, their name, their website is going to be part of my website address because it's free, right? Okay. Now your site is saved, and what you do. You click publish. You can click publish now here. I'm going to click done so you can see the other publish. And when you click publish, that means that your web page, okay, your home page or your website will actually end up online. So at this point, it's available online. And if you click view site, it will actually take you to the website. So here you are on your actual website. But notice this bar at the top. This site was designed with the Wix.com website builder. Create your website today, start now. This is an ad to encourage other people who come to your website to also click here to start their site. I mean, and that might be okay, right, for a while, especially when you're testing this out and you want to decide if this is something you really want to do. But at some point when, you know, you may not want this, right? You may not mind at all. And if you don't mind, you can keep it this way stay with your free website um but also the website address right you don't have control over this domain right but if you uh when you upgrade to a premium plan all right this will be removed right it will remove this piece at the top this bar this advertisement the ad will be removed and you will also have your own domain your own website address right okay and domains are cheap i believe you will you buy the domain in the process of upgrading the plan i believe that's what i remember doing that as i was upgrading that i bought the domain right for less than 10 bucks right and then i paid for a premium plan and that's how but i started out with the free website which gave me a chance to learn how to use wix first to get familiar to see if you know if it was something that i could work with and when I realized how easy it was for me to use, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to a premium plan and just pay the money. And, you know, uh, I believe my plan is, I think I signed up for one year or something like that. Yeah, I believe it was one year. So that's how it works. But if you're perfectly fine with having this ad across the top of your page and having Wix site as part of your website address, then you can stay with the free site. The free site still has all of the same, pretty much the same features available, right? You, I mean, this is free. What I'm on right now, this is my free account, okay? This account I'm on now, this is totally free, which is why it's coming up this way, right? Mr. Mark Teach, however, I'll show you very quickly, um, is a website that is, not free that I created using Wix, but I pay for the site. And I did not use a template. I actually did this from scratch. I decided not to use a template because the, the purpose of my site was very simple. I just needed a really simple page. And then I created other pages like suggested products, downloads. I don't have much on them yet. I've only been doing this for like a month, this website. But, right, as you can see, 
it works, right? And if I click this, it goes to my YouTube channel. So I have a YouTube link on it, which brings me to my YouTube channel, right? So it works, okay? And what I had to do was buy this domain, mrmarkteach.com, and I upgraded my plan, and that is why you do not see the Wix thing across the top of my Wix sites, right? So that is for my Mr. Mark Teach, right? Dot com, Mr. Mark Teach at Gmail dot com, right? However, this what I'm using now. This is Mr. Mark Computer Lessons, and this is a totally free account, and that is why you see the advertisement on it, and that is why I don't have a real website address, so to speak. I don't have my own personal website address. So, of course, there, I mean, depending on what you want to do, there might be more things to learn about this. But um, as you can see, in general, creating a Wix website using a template is not hard to do. You can create a website from scratch like I did, but using a template, I mean, if you want to create a really, really nice looking site like this, I would suggest using the template and then making changes to it like I just did because doing it from scratch, I mean, I only did this one from scratch because I knew I wanted it really simple. But if you want something a little more interesting with more designs like this, all right, I would say use a template because this would be very hard to do from scratch. Okay, so yeah, so check out the link in the description of this video. Just click on the link, go to start and get started with Wix. So again, you just need an email address. Try it out. See if you like it. And if you want to go to the next level of making this a more professional website, I would then suggest you can upgrade to the premium plan. They're reasonable for the amount of time of the plan. It's reasonable. I'll, I'll tell you that it's reasonable. So you can do that. And, and that's basically how it works.